I am joined by singer, songwriter, actress, dancer, all around diva, Miss Leah Robinson. How are you? I'm good. I'm blessed and happy. How are you? I'm great. If you were watching the Grammys last night, then you know that the head upstaged a few of the nominees and even has its own Twitter with over 13,000 followers. That's crazy. Well, Pharrell, you've always been a trendsetter. So if you like it, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna say some names, right. and you just say kiss it or diss it if you're not interested. Okay, Kerry Washington. Kiss it, kiss it. We were just talking about Kerry. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we were talking about her okay, earlier. Shout out to <laughs> you. Um, Miley Cyrus. The, the, the of age Miley Cyrus. Okay, yeah. New Miley? Yeah, with the, the twerking cut. Miley. Welcome back to the Aggie Sports Report. I'm Isis. The track team is already in the midst of their indoor season. Several athletes have stood out during their early going, and they ended their weekend at the 2013 Penn State National Invitational. What's your biggest fear in the industry? Um, My biggest fear? Oh. I haven't really thought about that. That's a good question. In recent news, Miami Dolphin player Richie Incognito was accused of using racial slurs and threatening a fellow team member. When questioned about his actions, he said it's a product of the environment. Is this a Miami Dolphins problem or a football problem as a whole? The fans look at you. They've seen you in a lot of different mediums. What inspired you to make the transition from rapper to actor to now writer? Um, well, I mean, for me, myself, I... I enjoy shocking and surprising people. We know when that you have a baby yes. and she's growing yeah. and soon she'll be in college. So does this atmosphere prepare you for that? Yeah, you know, when we first got here, she was trying to get out the door and walk on her own. I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> you got a while for that. But Definitely a lack in the marketplace of foundations and colors for African-American and Hispanic women. So I came onto Motives to bring more colors and more shades. And with that, we ended up just creating beauty in every shade. When you hit the stage and when you went out and put on these shows, you your showmanship was at a level that was so high, it was pretty much unmatched. Now, was that something that you decided that, you know, I want to be different and went out your way to be different? Or was it you being no, your absolutely. creative self? Absolutely. Um, like growing up watching a lot of the hip hop shows from the generation before me, like uh, Run DMC, LL, Houdini, Dougie Fresh, all these guys, I saw them putting on spectacular stage shows. Okay. So therefore, when I came out, I wanted to make sure that my show was real tight. 